You're tuned in to the only all sports talk network in the Middle East, IsraelSportsRadio.com. So that celebration and that all commotion you're listening to. Yeah, I'm going to let you take this one. Thank you very you much. You just the won't top, shut up about it all day The Indiana day long. Hoosiers unranked in Assembly Hall. And mm-hmm. I think this is probably the biggest win they've had in the last decade. Knocked off number one Kentucky, three-pointer at the buzzer. Okay, let's... And I've been a Hoosiers fan ever since their magical year of 1976 <laughs> when I was born, when they went undefeated, the last I, team to go undefeated. I think we, we should... Oh, and now that we have that very illustrious history, let's go to a real... Wait, we have a caller on the we line. We do, a real Hoosiers expert Another Hoosier fan. on the line, a fellow Hoosier, mm-hmm. Johnny Bublik. John, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. I remember when you were, like, in diapers, man. Yeah. <laughs> I do. How's, this is how's the everything? indie connection over here. I'm connection. just going to yeah. sit back and, and listen to Jessica here this. is from Philly, so she's just going to take a little uh, bathroom break, and we're going to talk <laughs> Indiana basketball you grew up in Indianapolis. You went to IU. First of all, what are you doing here in Israel? I am doing a Masa program, program called Career Israel, which is um, a five-month program where for the first month you learn Hebrew in Ulpan, and then from there for the next four months you work at different internships that um, go along with whatever field of study you studied in college. Mm-hmm. And you're the only Hoosier on the program? Um, there are actually a few other people that are from Indianapolis, but also two other Indiana Hoosiers on the program. Did, so you, guys, did you guys watch the game? Yeah, we all watched the game last night. Mm-hmm. Where'd you guys watch it? Um, just um, in the dorm. There's a TV where we all live, so we all gathered there and watched it. Nice. So tell me, you were at IU for f- how many, four years? You did a full four years at IU? Yeah, the full four years. And in those four years, did you have a game this exciting or this meaningful to Indiana Hoosiers basketball, in your opinion? I would say nothing this meaningful because my freshman year, although we started the season top five preseason after everything that happened with Kelvin Sampson, um, our program sort of just went down to the bottom of the Big Ten, and we've never really had a meaningful season for quite some time now. Do you remember, and this will reveal, I mean, my age, everyone here knows I'm an old man, but do you remember when IU won it all in 1987? Were you born yet? No, you I was actually born. born two years later. See, so I, re- I still remember <laughs> watching that entire tournament as an 11-year-old. That's how old I am. Wow. So, I mean, I remember that, and then from 87... They did not make it back to the championship game until 2002 when they lost to Maryland. How about that game? Do you remember that game? Yeah, I remember that okay. game, especially when we knocked off Duke. I'm pretty sure uh-huh. that's the last time we'd be a number one team um, right. in the Mike regional semifinals here. that year. Mike is Mike, crying. Yeah, he's, he's not dookie. happy that you mentioned but, that. But the, yeah. the scene, and I've been to games. At, I didn't go to IU, but I've gone to games, plenty of Hoosier games, including games at Assembly Hall. But I have not seen anything like that in a decade. In a decade, I don't remember a celebration like that in a long, long time. I mean, maybe as well, far back as 1989, I remember games like that. But last night was unbelievable. Simply it really amazing. was. I haven't seen IU like that ever, really, in my years of watching them. So how cool would that be, you know, with Butler and their runs? Another Indiana school, I mean, this is the, the Indiana school known for its basketball program. How cool would that be if IU uh, went all the way? all the way back to the Final Four this year? I mean, it would be amazing. I feel like this is too early to talk like this just because it was such a rivalry game with so much on the line. I feel like we still have to prove ourselves in the Big Ten to show that we really have what it takes to make it. So now now IU is 9-0, correct? Yeah, 9-0. And and I'm assuming by now there is going to be some attention 
meaning they are going to get a, some type of national ranking after knocking off the number one team being 9-0. and What do you think? I would expect us to be somewhere around 15 or so that in the nation sense. after this sense. win. And Ohio State lost yesterday. Yeah, Ohio State lost, although they didn't have Solinger, but still a oh. loss is a loss. So what's your prediction? It's a, First of all, it's still a very young team. Okay, and it's still a young and coach. And very early in the season. And very early in the season. How do you think they're going to do this year? I know Butler is down. They're down and out. How is Indiana going to do this year in your prediction? I think we'll probably finish somewhere around four or five in the Big Ten. I think we're still going to have a tough time throughout the whole big, brutal schedule in the Big Ten. It's very physical and playing in the Big Ten, and we're still a very young team. But I feel like... Tom Crean's really building something that'll last not only for this year, but for years to come. I agree. He's definitely, I was very, very excited when I found out he was taking over. He was a class act. And you could see that even after the victory yesterday and after they won, how humble he uh, acted in victory, you know, not reacting at all, knowing it's just another game, you know, even though you had 17,000 people, you know, going nuts on the court. But uh, first of all, um, we want to th- we're running short on time. We've got to get on to other subjects. NFL and this Philly fan city next to me is, <laughs> is getting tired of hearing I'm about I'm letting you have your glory about here, Indiana. Hasten. But first, but send regards to your family, okay? Tell them Josh Haston says hello. Okay. Uh, your parents are still in Indy? Your family's still in Indy? Um, my mother is still in Indianapolis. Um, my father is in Virginia Beach now. Uh-huh. So, so say, hi, them both know, say hi to your family, and it's good to have another Hoosier voice here in Israel. There are not many of us. we got to stand Definitely. together proud, <laughs> and good luck to IU the rest of the way. Congratulations. All right, thank you so All right, much. Thanks for coming on the show. All the best.